And welcome back here to Live Now from Fox. Uh, I'm Andrew Kraft. Like I said before the break, trouble in New York. Live picture there over the Midtown Manhattan skyline. You see there the Chrysler building smack dab in the middle. Well, this is what we are learning. The FBI has raided the homes of at least three top New York City officials closely connected to Mayor Eric Adams. Uh, also, I'm putting up this post on X from our friend there, Fox 5's Morgan Mackay, saying a law enforcement source telling Linda Schmidt at Fox 5 that several NYPD executives, including the NYPD police commissioner, were asked to turn over their phones immediately to investigators at the U.S. Attorney's Office with the Southern District of New York. Investigators will also be looking at emails. Well, I had the chance to catch up with Fox 5 New York reporter Morgan McKay about what is going on here with officials there at the NYPD and connected to Mayor Eric Adams. Let's watch. Search the homes of two aides in the administration of New York Mayor Eric Adams. In addition to the raid, the phone of an NYPD commissioner was also seized. We want to bring into the conversation right now our friend there at Fox 5 New York, Morgan McKay, with the latest. She joins me. Uh, Morgan, good to see you here. Uh, what's going on with these FBI raids and seizures? More and more of these New York officials being swept up in this. What's going on? We're talking about a massive operation here, Andrew. The FBI raiding the homes of at least five people close to New York City Mayor Eric Adams. We're talking about two deputy mayors, the school's chancellor, and reportedly even the NYPD commissioner. A testy school's chancellor, David Banks, did not answer questions about the FBI raid on his home in Harlem that he shares with Deputy Mayor Sheena Wright. It is unclear at this time if the raid was targeting one or both of them, but electronic devices were seized from their home. FBI agents on Wednesday also raided the home of Deputy Mayor for Public Safety, Phil Banks, the brother of David Banks. Phil Banks' attorney, Benjamin Brofman, confirmed this for us this afternoon. Phil Banks has been entangled with law enforcement before and was previously named by federal prosecutors as an unindicted co-conspirator in an investigation into a police bribery scheme during former Mayor Bill de Blasio's administration. Banks abruptly retired from the NYPD in 2014, but returned to city government after Mayor Eric Adams took office in 2022. Additionally, numerous outlets are reporting that the FBI also raided the home of NYPD Commissioner Edward Caban. A law enforcement source tells Fox 5 that several NYPD executives, including the police commissioner, were told to turn over their phones immediately to the U.S. Attorney's Office with the Southern District of New York. A spokesperson for the NYPD would not go into detail but said, quote, the department is aware of an investigation by the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York involving members of service. The department is fully cooperating in the investigation. On top of that, FBI agents also raided the home of another Adams aide, Tim Pearson, who is currently facing multiple lawsuits for allegedly sexually harassing female employees and is facing a separate investigation for his role in a fight at a migrant shelter. A spokesperson for the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York would not comment on the investigation, but according to multiple sources, this investigation is likely separate from the federal corruption inquiry facing the mayor involving his campaign fundraising and possible ties to the Turkish government. In that investigation, Adams himself was served a grand jury subpoena in July and was forced to turn over his cell phones to the FBI. Agents have also raided the homes of his top campaign fundraiser and another one of his aides in connection with that investigation. City Hall Chief Counsel Lisa Zornberg in response said, quote, investigators have not indicated to us the mayor or his staff are targets of any investigation. As a former member of law enforcement, the mayor has repeatedly made clear that all members of the team need to follow the law. And Adams today, as he was leaving City Hall, said to just a couple reporters that they are cooperating with federal investigators right now in terms of handing over anything that they might need and says that he will continue to be the mayor. Andrew? 
Yeah, I got to ask because um, I think in any other city, in any other mayoral administration, um, the residents of that city, the voters themselves, will be talking about this. This would be in the press all, all the time. Do New Yorkers know this is going on? You know, yes. And this is not the first investigation that, you know, the mayor is a part of because at the end of the day, so right now we're hearing from a few sources that the investigation involving uh, these five members of Adam's staff and the investigation involving him and his uh, possible ties to the Turkish government and how that is in, um, involves campaign fundraising. Um, they're saying that those are separate investigations, but at the end of the day, Adams chose to appoint all five of these people to his administration. And, you know, it just gives this look that there is so much going on behind the scenes. And in a time when uh, trust in public government is just so important, it, it is a, a shame to see something like this happen. On top of that, you have people like the NYPD commissioner, for example, now possibly communicating with the FBI in terms of, you know, handing over his phone, whatever it might be, and being distracted and not focusing on what he needs to be doing, which is, of course, protecting the city of New York. So, Morgan, where this story stands right now, all we know is the raids happened and the seizures happened. We don't know what it's related to just yet, and we don't know if there are any indictments coming, right? Exactly. There have been no charges. Um, Adams himself says uh, that, you know, for his investigation that he... There's no wrongdoing there. Right. Um, but for this investigation, of course, we haven't been able to get in touch with anybody uh, close besides the school's chancellor, David Banks, which you saw there at the top. Right. Um, and he didn't say much, um, but there have been no charges. The FBI um, is not commenting publicly, as well as the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York. All right, uh, Morgan McCoy there live for us in, in New York. Morgan, thanks so much. We'll check in if there are any more developments.